everyone and welcome back and now the part you've all been waiting for the Dollar General Fairy Gardening Edition. Um, this was the first store we went to and it was unbelievable. Everybody had been telling me um, to go check the Dollar General. The gals had been commenting on my videos and thanks for the heads up girls because well I wiped the department out. Kathy and I probably spent 20 minutes in there. We found all kinds of fun stuff and anyway I'll show you what I got that was non-fairy gardening um, related first, and then we'll roll right into fairy gardening. So, I did not haul these. Kathy did. But this whole line with the diva and the purples and the pinks and everything was on 50% off. So, I had bought these cups. They were two for a dollar, as they are in the States. Well, yesterday they were 50 cents. So, Kathy picked those up. So, any of you Dollar General girls that you can get your hands on these, they're 50 cents for the two of them. Uh, any girl who's worth her salt has a pink hip flask with some lips on it. So this was four bucks. It was on 50% off, so it was two dollars. So I picked this up. Um, I'm going on a cruise, and sometimes I like to take a sneaky little rum off the ship so that I can just add it to the Coke when I'm out and about. So I grabbed this hip flask for two dollars. Um, Easter is upon us, as we all know, so I picked some stuff up from my dad and Jane. They're they like going to church and they have a good time there. So I got these chocolates for them. So this one says rejoice in the wonder of the day. And it's just a chocolate cross. And then you open it up and it says happy Easter on the inside. That was a dollar. And then I got this pattern as well. May his light shine upon you. Same chocolate cross. Same happy Easter on the inside. And then they also had praying hands like this in chocolate. I have no idea what it said anymore. But anyway. May's eternal peace be upon you or something like that. Yeah. Um, I got this sign for my father. Sorry for the glare, everybody. And it says, God gave me you. You know, we all know that Blake song, right? Um, and again, the whole religious connotation. Kathy actually spotted this and said you should get this for your father. So I looked at it and went, yeah, that's perfect. He'll just love it. Um... Just a, a little bit of a backstory. You guys all hear me talk about my mom and my stepdad, and then my dad and my stepmother. Well, my dad is actually the original stepdad, um, but he's my my proper dad. He's been with me in my life since I was five, um, and he and my mom parted ways when I was 23. But he never divorced me, so. That's the guy that I have to go watch ball with, and that's the guy if I don't call once a week or show up once a week, you know I hear about it. So anyway, I got that um, for my dad, and he often jokes, I'll go over there for dinner. When do I have to stop feeding you? When do I have to stop supporting you? Well, buddy, you signed on for life. You had the opportunity to divorce. You didn't. So here I am. Anyway, it's obviously a joke, but so I picked that up for him, and that will be actually something I look forward to giving him for Father's Day. So before I cry, I'm moving on. Here you go, Kathy. Kathy's being my assistant here in the background, shaking her head at me, shaking her head at me, <laughs> 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 laughing. All right, so again, with that whole hip flask diva line, um, these love coasters were on 50% off. Again, sorry for the glare. They were $1.50, so I got them for 75 cents. That's the one pattern, and they're essentially a little trinket trays. And here's the other pattern in silver. So I got those in the clearance area because um, Dollar General's having their clearance event on now. I got these gem stickers for 90 cents. It wasn't a huge clearance from a dollar to 90 cents, but whatever, 90 cents. I picked up this package of stickers and it's Butterfly Garden. Yeah. So it's just pretty. So that was 90 cents and I got this one the mermaid princess um, set for 90 cents and then my stepmother runs a vacation Bible school in the summer and they had these vacation Bible school stickers for 90 cents so I got her two packs of those to put away for the summer for vacation Bible school so she'll love that I got this little cutie with his little tail bunny butt and he was a dollar, so he's just a little garden steak. Kathy, do they have other colors of that? No. No, she says. Um, and then I got this sweet little, he's metal, little metal bunny. 
and he was 350 and this is how he looks on the other side they had um a pink and white one but it was hot pink and we put the two of them together and we both decided that the purple was the way to go so with his little raffia bow tie there so he was 350 and that's it it's time for fairy gardening okay I don't even know where to start so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the things that weren't a dollar first and then I'm gonna blow through the 400 items in front of me that were a dollar so I got this little house and it was three dollars and I know we were able to pick up those cute houses at the Dollar Tree for a dollar or a dollar twenty-five here in Canada but you know what these are a little bit bigger the details a little bit prettier and I was happy to pay three dollars for that like the grass is legit tufted looking you know so I got that one and I got this cute one that looks like a little beehive and it was three dollars as well so there's that and it's little top oh Kathy says it's an acorn this is not a beehive not a beehive it's an acorn so there you go acorn and then I picked up two kits and I'm just realizing now that they actually have names there were I think one or two that I did not purchase um, I don't I I think I need it all because I bought it all but I didn't pick up all of the sets so these little sets were five dollars each this is called the mini garden fairy set and it's five pieces and it was five dollars so it's a dollar a piece so it's got a little house has a bird bath it has a welcome sign it has a fairy and then it's a little um, trellis up here I don't know if I opened them it might be easier for us all to see because that would probably be more fun and guys this stuff was all in my truck last night and I was dying to get into it just to look at it all again and Oh man, I can't get this stuff out. Okay, here. So here's the little house. Like, isn't that cute? Look at it. Yep. And then here are the other pieces in there. So there's that one. Here, buddy. And this one's called the mini garden gnome set and it was five dollars as well and guys look at the gnome okay i gotta hold it up like this because they're gonna fall out the gnome riding the turtle <laughs> look at him how cute is that probably take 10 hours to get where you're going but okay and then it's got a little bird bath that's a leaf it has a bridge has a two welcome signs so this one and it's got birds on the top and a squirrel over here and a little blue bird over here that's how it looks on the back and I'm sorry it's very noisy and then this little welcome sign with the mushrooms and the snail on top and there's the back so yeah that set was five dollars as well so if you're just new, well, I'm brand new to this, but I'm always afraid I'm never going to see things again, and I like to buy a lot, so this would be a great way to start. Just get yourself a couple of these little starter kits, and you're off to the races. Okay, so just hang on a sec. We've got to clear a little bit of the way here. Okay, I'm back. So everything I'm about to show you all was a dollar. Hang on, Kathy's fixing us up here. So yeah, so everything I'm about to show you was all a dollar. So I'll start with the signs. I got this little stake that says Fairy Crossing. I got this sweet one that says Snail Road in Fairy Land, and it's got a little snail on the top. And I got this one. This says Gnome Sweet Gnome. Okay, now I will show you gnomes. So I got this cute guy, 
taking care of his flowers. I got this playing his flute. And I got this guy with his watering can. Okay, now fairies. I got this pretty girl with her big bouquet of flowers. I got this cute one sitting on the tree stump reading a book. And I got this one in her blue with her watering can. So that's it. Oh no, I got, there's, this is a different little baby angel. And it says, what does it say? Believe, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. And this little baby, she's just sleeping in her wings there with the little flowers. So I got her. Okay, oh, here's another sign I missed, sorry. Welcome to our garden. And it's got the red cardinal on there and then the blue bird. Okay, a couple of picks. I got this little birdhouse pick. This really is a beehive, yeah. not an acorn. No. <laughs> this little beehive. Okay. This is a little random, but I got this um, pink flamingo, and I kept saying to Kathy, I'm so sorry, it's so bright pink. It's too bright, it's too bright. She says, dry brush it. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to do a little bit of work on this one. But it also had the flamingo with just its neck straight, like it wasn't tucked around like this, but this is the one I preferred. I got this cute little Easter egg topiary. I got this welcome pineapple, and it had another one. I think it was like pineapple, yellow pineapple. So I got that one. Okay, I got some little cacti. So I got this one. And these are all different, even though you're going to see them and think they're all the same. They're all just slightly different. This one. And this one. Okay, a couple of doors. There's no place like Gnome with the little frog and his shovel there. And this guy with his little potted plant. Oh my God, the Airstream. Like look at the, for a dollar, like this, crazy. Yeah, so I got that little Airstream. And then, we're almost there, guys. Uh, wishes, 10 cents. So I got this little wishing well. I got this cute little house, little stone house with its thatched roof. And then just this cute little house. Yeah. So that's it. I think we can all agree I went a little crazy. But... I can't get to the Dollar General and I like it, so it's okay. And I didn't want to leave it there, so yeah. So I'm delighted to share all that with you. So girls, run out to the Dollar General if you can. Kathy's pointing at things. Two. Hang on, she's talking to me. She won't speak out. Sorry, she was just trying to make sure I showed you everything, that I didn't leave anything out. So yeah, that's it. So run off to the Dollar General, girls, because... Well, it's amazing there. All right, everybody. Thanks for stopping in and thanks for putting up with me for 14 minutes. Bye.